is going on gaming nerds welcome back to midnight gaming with mystic nightmare thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day i'm having a pretty decent day it is midnight and we are back on astroneer and i'm excited because today we're going to get into some very dangerous stuff which is fuel spaceships and hydrazine and all that kind of stuff so uh, just remember, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe, show your support to the channel, share and favorite the videos, you know, however you want to do it. And let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, in the last episode, we got 39,180 bytes in total when we went off onto that expedition. Now today, uh, with all of those bytes, we're going to go ahead and use some of them up. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the difference between the hydrazine catalyzer the fuel condenser and we might even make the trade platform and i'll kind of compare that to um, our extractor over there and then we'll see just kind of how you know it all turns out so we're going to need one two three four five six six of these because i'm going to make Let's see. I'm going to make, I'm going to make, what am I going to make? I don't know what I'm going to make. Let's, let's, let's make it over here. Whatever I'm going to make, we're going to make over here. Okay. So first of all, we're going to come out one, put a little resin in, and then we're going to come out another one, put a little resin in your heart. Okay. So I'm sorry for singing. That's just me sometimes. All right. So first thing we're going to do, research chamber, medium printer, smelter, vehicle bay, uh, mineral extractor I would it would really help if I actually learned what I was trying to go over right so first we're gonna go to the hydrazine catalyzer then we're gonna go over to the fuel condenser I'm gonna show you the difference between those two and which one's better which one's not which one you want to use when and how you want to use it yada 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 there's a trade platform I'm gonna probably go over that too uh, and then if we have time we're gonna go ahead and possibly build a spaceship we still got 28,000 bytes okay so Medium printer, smelter, vehicle bay, trade platform, inner extractor, hydrazine catalyzer. Okay, we need two copper. Uh, and what else do we need over here? We're going to do research, smelter, vehicle bay, trade, the fuel condenser. Okay, so we're going to need a total of four copper to get both of these. Now, I don't need to make both of them. I'm just doing it for you guys' sake. So I hope you guys really appreciate it because it really isn't that hard to make them and i really didn't work that hard to do it except for all of the the bites that's what it was so i did work hard okay so the fuel condenser compared to um the hydrazine catalyzer the fuel condenser as you can see is a two stack power uh, node thing it's a it's two it's it's two powers stacked okay as you can see if you look under here see how this is one power um, if you go over to like the the uh, the extractor this is one power down here uh, the smelter has one power the the fuel condenser is two power uh, tall and that's a lot of power to be completely honest with you guys uh, you do need to put a canister in it and I'm going to put a canister in it. Now, here's the kicker for this thing. And I'm glad it's at night. Because once you throw your canister in there, you got your little opener and it opens. And then you go ahead and click, okay, make me some hydrazine fuel. So it utilizes this entire power grid for one little amount of hydrazine in it. And then it fills up again. It utilizes that power grid again to do another one and then another one it takes four of these full power grids to fill one hydrazine canister now a lot of people say oh well it makes it out of thin air you don't have to spend any money for it yada yada, yada or any any materials for it yada 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 that's very true but it rips your power to shreds it will literally drain all of your power trying to just get one hydrazine plus as you can see it's slower than a well digger's bum hole in midnight i don't know how slow that is because i don't know anything about well digger's bum hole i just kind of set it and as you can see my power has already been drained completely and it's the middle of the night that sucks plain and simple that sucks because as soon as i turn it back or as soon as i get power this is going to fill up again this is going to start filling up the hydrazine hydrazine again and it's going to rip my power to shreds 
yet again. And the only way that I can get it in the middle of the night is if I switch out like my my wind turbines here and try and find a wind turbine or a windy area, which I'm there's one right there. So this is probably going to fill this up again. And it's going to do it very slowly and then it's going to rip my power to shreds yet again. Okay, so in my opinion, as far as the fuel condenser is con concerned, it really, really, really sucks. It really does. Unless you have a monstrous saddle or a monstrous solar panel like we do, and you are smart enough to actually wait until the daytime. If you do it during the daytime, then this solar panel will pay off big time but if you don't have the solar panel the only time you really should do it is during the daytime and even then it's pretty much going to tear your power apart anyway so let's go ahead and look at the hydrazine catalyzer that's what it is i can't I, half the time i can't remember what the hell i'm saying okay so with the hydrazine catalyzer first of all you've already got the fuel you just need to switch it over to hydrazine and this is your microwave oven basically to do it. To do it, depending on how many aluminum nodes that you have, that's one of these alumin uh, aluminum nodes, God, ammonium nodes will fill one entire canister. So if you go out and you find four ammonium, which pretty much every single ammonium deposit you find is going to have at least four of these nodes in it, you're going to be able to get one full canister by doing it. So, yes, you do have to go out and you have to find ammonium, but it takes half the time. Well, I guess if you add in, you know, building your canisters as well as, you know, finding the ammonium, it does take about the same time as as this does um, the condenser. But it doesn't rip your power to shreds. It only uses one, you know, one go through and you're good to go. Now, it's not going to turn on unless you have the, the exact same um, amount of ammonium per canister. Uh, and I'm going to take off. So what I'm going to do here, let me show you a little bit. Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. I have to take off two of these and then the power thing will come up. And then it will burn through one entire power thing. So you want to make sure you have four in there just so you don't waste a ton of your power. And you've got to make sure you have four canisters. Um, I am missing canisters. Hold on. I'll just use the, my regular canisters. And it'll fill up all four of these canisters. Boom. In one go. See this one? We're still waiting on this one over here. Probably because it wasn't daytime. But we're still waiting on this one. So it's like, um, okay, so now look, one, two, three, four. There's four hydrazine canisters right there. This thing's still trying to go because we did it in the middle of the night. And now that it's getting full because it's in the middle of the day, it's going to go ahead and finish up. Okay, so I think it's at the third one. I think one more might be able to fill it up. It might be two more. I'm not sure how many times it's done it, actually. But this is just only one canister. So, I mean, it takes, it rips your power to shreds. And in my opinion, it's just not worth it anymore. I, I would rather go out and find the ammonium um, out in the world and then just come back here and have four, you know, four hydrazine ready to go. Cha cha cha. We're already done. Cha cha cha. Did I just say cha cha cha? Okay. So, there's that. Look at that. Four canisters. Oh, yeah. This one's, by the way, this one's still going. Okay. It looks like it was two more. Maybe it takes five five runs through run throughs to get this. This used to be the bomb diggity. This used to just fill one entire canister in one go, and that was it. You're done. Oh, see, it still needs. Okay, so it's full now. So, I mean, if I didn't count in the time it took me to get the ammonium, I mean, it's already this one's already done four compared to this one. But you do have to find the ammonium out in the world. Now let's go ahead and talk about the trade platform real quick. Okay, so for the trade platform, I'm going to need... I'm going to need more resin, I think. I think I'm almost out. Yeah, I'm almost out of resin. Or I am out of resin, basically. Okay, so I'll be right back when I grab some more resin or I make some more resin. And then we'll do the trade platform and I'll talk about that real quick. Okay, we're back. I've got uh, resin. Yeah, that's what I was going for, was resin. So let's go ahead and talk about... 
the trade platform. Now, the trade platform back in the day used to be the bomb diggity, just like, you know, the 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 the, the hydrazine catalyzer used to be as well. Uh, but they they changed some stuff up there. It was kind of cheaty, to be honest with you. It was really cheaty. Basically, once you got one of those two, um, well, you got both of them. All you really needed to do was you could have two ca uh, hydrazine catalyzers. Um, that is what that's called, right? This is the hydrazine catalyzer. This is the fuel condenser. Okay, you'd have two con fuel condensers, and you would have a trade platform, and then you just sit there and you just stand there and press um, press the start button on uh, the fuel condenser on both the fuel condensers. And when you had enough hydrazine, then you just use the trade the trade platform. Now the trade platform gets you stuff that you can't find mostly on your planet, and that's one of the really good things about it. Um, but they have changed it so the prices are different when it comes down to this. So let's say that I wanted um, I wanted coal because there's hardly any coal on this planet. In fact, I've never even come across any on this planet. So for coal on this, I can trade. I can try trading canisters of hydrazine if I wanted to. So let's grab a couple of hydrazine. I'll take those. I'll put those right there. You know, put one right there, one right there. And as you can see, the yield is still zero coal. Um, and I've got, let's see, we got two more hydrazine canisters. To get to one, I think just for one coal, I think you need a full trade platform full of hydrazine. Yeah, see, it's still not even one. Um, but if I change it from coal to like... Titanium, ammonium, compound. Okay, why is it saying yield zero on all of this? I wonder if you can even trade... Can you even trade hydrazine for it? Do we need to make a couple more hydrazine? Hold on a second. Let me see if... I think we may, we may need to make a couple more hydrazine. We need three more. Okay, so we'll put this there, we'll put that there. Are we even at one yet? Steve, we're still not at one. Why aren't we still at one? Yield is still zero. Can we trade... What if we tried trading titanium in it? Because I'm not sure exactly what... Like, what they changed the costs to. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm not exactly sure, like, what would be the best in here. Okay, so this yields two with all this hydrogen. If I take a hydrogen away, still yields two, still yields two, still yielding two. Okay, backpack is full. So I'm thinking that you actually have to trade. So, whoa, see, that's a nice little glitch they've got in the game where your your camera spins around like that. That's insane. Um, okay. So if I put more titanium in there, okay, that'll yield four. And see, I haven't found anything to use titanium on anymore anyway. I'm just wondering if they've got that in for like a trade thing or what. So if I was to say put in, what if we put in like four copper and we took out both of those titanium. Let's try let's try four copper. Okay, so it looks like you can't actually trade you can't you probably can trade hydrazine, but you don't get as much back from it. So like this will yield four ammonium, eight compound, um, eight resin, eight organics, laterite four, because laterite is ammonium. Uh ammonium. God, laterite is copper. Malacite, uh, looks like four malacite or malachite, two aluminum. Okay, so trading four, four copper only gives two. And trading four copper only gives two copper. That's funny. So you're actually getting a, a lower return. And you get one lithium for four copper, so that's actually pretty good. If you're looking for lithium, you don't want to go out. You don't want to find ships. You don't want to do the whole you know, the whole um, extractor thing, then you can actually trade stuff that you've got, like copper and stuff, for other things. 
it the prices are a little bit steep i think uh, four copper will get me one coal if i wanted to do like a medium uh, medium generator or something like that so i mean the trade platform is cool but for the most part unless you're going for stuff that's not on your planet or you're absolutely you've absolutely terraformed your entire area and you really are looking for a certain type of you know resource that you don't have um and you can't find or you're looking for like lithium or batteries it's kind of really not worth it but if you get to the point where you're just like oh yeah i'm gonna make a whole bunch of batteries i need a bunch of lithium or i've got a whole bunch of medium generators i need a whole bunch of coal then it would probably be worth it because i wonder did did it say that we could get four yeah see four copper will give you one coal and that coal doesn't last very long to be honest with you unless they change some things up um so yeah so that's basically that in a nutshell the trade platform has become a lot more less cheaty uh you can still get stuff from it but it's going to pretty much cost you it's going to cost you a dime or two um and i think probably I, I don't know like i said titanium i haven't found anything to build titanium with so i'm wondering if it's in the game just as a uh just as like a kind of a, a a money thing a trade item that you can use with the trade platform i'm thinking that's probably what it is uh so yeah okay so what are we going to do next next we're going to get into a spaceship because we need to very badly i'm still very curious as if you know a full thing of of hydrazine will actually get me anything out of there uh let's see okay so what we want to do let's see i want we've got everything else pretty much built right yeah we've got another side to this okay so let's do let's come out one more we'll just keep extending and then over here i need to find a nice big open space for the spaceship because i want to make a second vehicle bay it's better to have two vehicle bays when you start doing the spaceship. Otherwise, your spaceship will actually land on your vehicle bay and you won't be able to make any more rovers or anything else like that. Now, the thing about the, 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 the going into space is kind of like people sit there and they say, oh, yeah, what you need to do is you need to you, you need to go to the blue planet. That's the that's the bite node planet or whatever it is. And you're like, OK, cool. Well, to get a spaceship you need to get a vehicle bay and to get a vehicle bay you need to get the proper you know you need to get your resin then you need to get whatever metals or whatever it takes to actually get um to actually make the vehicle bay once you make the vehicle bay you have to make the spaceship once you make the spaceship you have to make the hydrazine catalyzer um or the fuel condenser to get enough hydrazine to get out into space by then you've pretty much made already everything else there's not really any reason to leave you unless you're just trying to be a completionist. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I want to build a nice big open area because I want to put another vehicle bay in and I want to build it out into a nice open area where I can definitely see from space. This is the area that I definitely want to, um, to land in, you know, so let's see. Okay. So I think we're going to need, Okay, we're out. Okay, there we go. Good. We still got two more resin. Okay, so this is nice and open up here. We'll go ahead and do our vehicle bay over here. What is our vehicle bay cost? It is two aluminum. No problems there. You want to get your vehicle bay as far from the other one as possible. And that's just basically so you can see them separated so you can click on the correct one when you're landing your spaceship. So let's go ahead and build the vehicle bay. I still want to kind of flatten a little bit more out around here. Just to get it flat. Just to get a nice open area. So we can build our spaceship. Oh yeah. Nice launch pad right here. It's got to be round. Because they're always round. A little bit more... Flattening Earth 101, Simulator 101. Okay, so we're... I'm 
kind of screwing it up over here. I gotta flatten, I gotta fix all of that. Flattening tool is really weird. It really is. I understand how it works, but it just boggles my mind sometimes. Okay, so now we need to get our spaceship ship them. So let's see, where is the spaceship? It's not in this one. It's right here. Now, I don't want to build the shuttle because it's just too small. If you're going to do it, you might as well just go with the large one. So we got 8,000 bytes on that one. Boom. Bada boom, bada bang. Okay, so we don't need more than one person. We can do a one-seater. Um, that's going to cost another 2,800 bytes. Now, everybody says you need a habitat when you go into space and you colonize another planet. You do not need it. Period. And I, I can't stand people that say that because you don't need it. <clears throat> the spaceship, which costs two compound, two aluminum, has a tether on it unless they've changed it, which they might have. I am out of compound. Okay, fine. Be that way. We're going to use the extractor. <clears throat> okay, so we got two aluminum. And I can't believe I'm at a compound. That's crazy. Okay, so let's get our two aluminum over here. And like I said, the, the spaceship has... It has one of these tethers that come out from it. One of these little things that go back and forth like this. And you can actually start your base from there. However, the habitat is really actually good if you find a good area on your spa on the, the other planet that you want to actually try out. And you don't, your spaceship isn't close to landing to it. On top of that, your spaceship will always land near your base. Um, and you can use your spaceship as kind of a, um, when the, you know, the, a blizzard comes in or a storm comes in, you can use that as shelter. Uh, but I think the habitat's more for like, ooh, I found a really cool area that's inside a cave or something. Let's build inside here. You see how this has a tether right here? You can build out from here. See that? So you can just use your spaceship as literally your habitat. Okay, so we need enclosed space, or enclosed seat one, which is going to take two more aluminum. I can't believe how much freaking aluminum this is going to take. It's ripping our storage, our backup storage and stuff and things to pieces. So let's go ahead and get our aluminum in there. And let's go ahead and make an enclosed base seat, which is going to be cool. And then we can go ahead and fill it up with hydrazine. How many does this... Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's got 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We've only got 6. I still wanted to look at the the Habitat Builder and see... Or not the Habitat Builder. God, where's my brain today? The uh, trade platform and see if... See if you can still trade Hydrazine. I don't know if you can or not. Yeah, uh, this is why I like the large the large spaceship. It's amazing when it comes down to how much hydrazine it holds and how many different planets you can go to. This is the way to go. Definitely the way to go. Okay, so if we wanted to go with, say, a large storage, what is that going to take? That's only four compound. That's not bad. Okay, so I'm just, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take these and I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put one there. And I'm just going to store them over here. Mine as well, right? Looks like we got one more hydrazine over here. Let's go ahead and throw that in here. And in, in here. In here. And there we go. We've got almost a full spaceship with the hydrazine. So that's going to be awesome. Okay, and so I need to get these out of here just to get them out of my pack here. Boom. Boom, boom, baby. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So we can go ahead and make our large storage, which we definitely want up here. Are we out of power? Is that what it? No, we're not out of power. Why can't? Why can't I craft it? Where's the button to craft it? Okay, so um, the storm blew through, and then when I was sitting in the pod there. I realized the reason I couldn't craft it was because I didn't put the compound in the thing. But I got a problem. During the storm, look what happened. The spaceship was actually blown over here from, from over here. You believe that crap? The spaceship was actually blown from over here. I just... I can't believe it allows it to do that. And there's the only way that we can actually get it back into the right place is to take off, utilize some of our hydrazine, which irritates me, and then 
come back to the planet. So I guess this is kind of our test flight. Look at all of these beacons that I put up. Look how far I've gone from our base, guys. Isn't that nuts? I went pretty far. Um, and then we gotta wait till... Gotta wait till we come around here. And as you'll notice, you'll see that because of how far apart I put my vehicle bays, there should be two places that we can land that are by our base. Where the hell is our base? We should already be... That could be it right there, but it's not showing me... There's usually a beacon. There, there's, there it is right there. Okay, so there's usually a beacon, and there should be two places... Okay, no, that's just a regular beacon. Where the hell is it? There it is right there. See, I'm going to do the one farthest to the south, and hopefully that's the correct landing spot. If it's not, I'm not going to be happy about that. I'm going to have to come out and redo it again. Yep, see, look at that. Just landed right on the stinking rover. How stupid. See how dumb that is? Okay, let's try... The second bubble here. Let's see if I can actually click on it. Hopefully it's the second bubble. I don't know why there's a third bubble bias. I'm afraid it's going to be actually quite a ways away from the base if I click on it. There we go. There we go. Right to where we needed to be. All right. All right. That works. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch over to the large storage. And then let's put our compound in there. Large storage. Now, one of the cool things about this little setup over here that I've got going for the extractor is this medium storage. Everything I need is right there. One of pretty much every element except for like, you know, coal is right there. So all I got to do is pick that up when I want to colonize another planet. Come over here and I just place that down. And then all I got to do is make sure that my backpack is full of um, soil and then I gotta make sure that I can make a uh, what is this thing called a um, uh, an extractor and so what I'm gonna do is I'm not I'm not quite sure I don't remember quite what the ex extractor takes I don't think we have any resin left yeah we don't have any resin left for me to find it hold on what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go see what the extractor takes because what you can do is you can actually take off land on your new planet pull this thing out um, put some resin into it and just keep going straight out make yourself a nice line and then the first thing you want to make is the extractor and then you can use the extractor to make all of the other materials that you need to build up your base Okay, we're back. So the extractor takes two compound. We just happen to have two compound on us. Now, we're going to need power, too, to get up there. So why not just take something like this, which was my idea earlier just to make that, and I told you a couple of episodes ago that this thing is awesome just because all you, to move it anywhere you want, to put it anywhere you want, you just pick it up, and there you go. You've got it. Bada boom, bada bang. Just like that, I've got it on there. And that's really all that I need. I got my two compound for my extractor. Um, actually, I need more resin now that I think about it. So I'm going to need, <clears throat> at the very least, I'm probably going to need, let's see, one resin, bring it out again, two resin, uh, bring it out again. So three resin, and then four, five. So a total of five resin is really all we're going to need. So I just need to get five more resin. We've got our power pack right here. We've got all of the stuff we can use to um, to uh, extract more of all these materials. Uh, so we got all of our base stuff there. And that's all we really need. We don't need a habitat. We don't need anything else. Um, unfortunately, we've ran out of time and I wanted to make some more hydrazine before we go. So... I'm going to have to end it here, guys. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit it. make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Appreciate you guys coming out and hanging out with me today. Keep gaming. Keep uh, doing it at midnight. And keep having a blast. We'll see you guys later. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.